This is the Redmi Note 11 Pro that I've been using for 3 years now, and I only paid £200 for it. It's got 128GB of storage, which is plenty for the average user, a smooth 120Hz refresh rate, and it even comes with a 67W fast charger in the box. If we put it side by side with the iPhone 13, it's a lot bigger with its bright 6.7 inch AMOLED display. So where exactly does this phone cut costs? At £200, the phone is bound to have certain limitations. The camera system isn't bad, but it's okay at best. The main sense performs decently in ample lighting unlike the Ultroid, and the video quality is fine, but it won't blow you away. The two main areas where you notice that costs have been cut are the processor and the materials. This phone cannot handle multitasking or intense gaming without heating up or stuttering. Also, the entire body of the phone, excluding the camera lens and screen, is made from plastic, so it does feel cheaper than premium options. Overall, I still think that budget phones are a viable choice for many as they meet the needs of the average user. Due to its price, it's expected that it will underperform at some tasks compared to mid-range and high-end phones.